welcome to another screencast by Scientific Remodeling System. On this Trello board I'm going to show you how to uh, use the rough-in phase. The rough-in phase. How to use this board. In the last screencast we looked at the uh, handoff to production board where we have the contact information and this contact information will stay here and accumulate uh, emails and comments and all the information that needs to be connected to that contact and then we have all our contracts, drawings, uh, purchase orders, projects, sele products selected all that is going to stay on this board so if we need to come back to that we can always refer to that but the next board is slightly different. The like next board has work orders on it and the task that these trades are going to do. So we have work orders, trades without work orders, inspections happening this week, happening today, completed rough-in items, and the rough-in is complete. So let's start with work orders. Uh, when we have a work order, we make a new card for each approved work order by copying the template card for work order trades below. And that's right here. And uh, we put a due date on the card for their scheduled work and complete the checklist. We're going to sort these cards placing the completed work orders at the bottom of the list or in the completed list. and. Uh, move the work order to happening this week or happening today at the appropriate time. So um, you see the work orders here each work order has a attachment to it one attachment and it has a checklist and that's the same on this template here's the checklist here and then we would add the file. So uh, each one of these when you when you look at a file you can actually open the document here or take a quick look here at our work order and uh, we don't pull any punches when we write a, a work order we actually write it very very clearly and specifically what we're going to do uh, we put notes in of caution and we also put in the uh, cleanup is very big on our jobs and that's how we maintain our reputation we keep the cleanup the job very clean and we tell them specifically what their responsibilities are and the job foreman is going to remind them of that most every day so it's really easy to add a new work order let's add a new card here say so add a card and we'll call this uh, low voltage wiring work order 5 and add that. You can either press enter or click add. Now if you've already got this work order made out just go to your internet your window explorer or your uh, Mac finder and just find that file and drag it down here and you can drop it on the front or the back of the card now you can see it's attached. Turn it over and we have the uh, document attached there. And just as a reminder all these numbers have significance and they keep all your files in order. 15 is the year 2015. 133 we start the jobs with 101 so that's 33 jobs end of the year. RFQ-W05 so RFQ Request for quote and a work order are a duplicate uh, multi-purpose form we use and five is the work order on this job. Mansion is the name of the job and then this is the company that's going to do the work. So there's a lot of information in there. If you'll use this filing system it'll keep your files in great order. So the next one is trades without work order. You may have some without work orders such as Gary the cleanup guy. Uh, he's going to clean up every Friday. We have his information here and uh, 
start date is every Friday during the job and finish date by the end of the job so he's going to be cleaning up the whole job and down here we we start marking off what has been done with this trade and this is for people with work orders or without work orders has the trade been contacted after the contract was signed yes has the trade been scheduled for their task yes due date set on the Trello calendar up here yes and the notification dates set on your personal calendar and the reason we put them on our personal calendar so we don't clutter up this calendar uh, that just tells you you're going to call this uh, trade or task person one week three days and one day prior to the scheduled work day and when all of this is done you can click it off and it turns green and we know that this work order or this task is completed so I'm going to take those back off. So, and if you want to add a new one here, it's very simple. You go to templates for tasks or trades without work orders. Turn that over and copy it. And all you have to do is click create. You don't need to make write anything else. And you'll notice here we have template for task or trade without work orders exactly like that. So we'll turn this over and we'll edit this. We'll call it Brenda Final Cleanup. And we'll save. Now we could enter all our information here and all of this information could be entered but I'm not going to do that for sake of brevity. We'll turn it over and now we have one with the same checklist as Gary the cleanup guy. So it's really easy to make duplicates. Just keep these the same unless you're going to modify it for all your cards. Keep it the same. Uh, add to it as you need to. But always start with this template here or the template here. The next thing is inspections. Uh, very simple. There are only two checklists for that. And that is has the inspection been ordered and scheduled? Has the inspection passed? And we know that when that when the front of that card is green, that framing inspection has been finished and that f part of the rough-in phase is ready for finish. And we have plumbing inspection, electrical, HVAC, insulation, energy, efficiency, and other inspection. Just use that for your template and create as many as you need for the regulations you have in your location. Happening this week. This list shows you all of the items that you expect to work on this week, whether they will be completed this week or not. Items will remain on this list or the happening today list till completed. So let's say we are ready to start our rough in and let's uh, start with our plumbing. I usually do plumbing first, HVAC next, and uh, electric and then the insulation so that's what we're going to do kind of in that order you can just move these around as you need to and let's say today you're actually going to start on this is what's going to be happening today we're, we're starting the plumbing rough in now when that is finished you just move the plumbing rough in over to the completed rough in items. Okay, and all of these have instructions on the back of the card giving you further details about this. And then we could move this into the happening today. So that's the next thing that's going to happen. We have our due dates on them. You can set due dates on everything that will show up in your calendar. And then, uh, you know, once this this is a simple one item checklist here uh, it just says all rough end items are complete and that when we get a green on this we know that all rough end is finished and it's time to move on to the trim phase so it's very simple very effective visual way to uh, show you what is happening and what is going to happen and what's been completed just move these items all the way down 
until they get to the completed rough end. And, and a notice here, I've, I've written this on the back of the card, but when things are completed, that doesn't necessarily mean that that work order is complete. What it means is that the rough end part of this work order has been finished. finished. And so we're going to take the plumbing work order and we're going to move it. We'll use our move function here. We'll move it to the next board, which is trim out, because he has to trim out the plumbing. So some things will stay here that are completed, such as insulation. They won't be back, but plumbing, electrical, uh, HVAC, all those things have to be trimmed, and they will be moved to the uh, trim out work orders card list. So that's it. I hope you got a lot out of this. Uh, if you would like to get these templates, all premium members can get these boards. Uh, there's a couple boards for free members, the first two. And uh, if they need uh, work order templates, if you're a premium member, you can just click right here. It will take you to the scientificmodelingsystem.com contracts and forms. And you can see here we have all our, here's our request for quote work order form. Just click there to download. It's very simple. Click there, you'll see the download item start. And then that's a DOCX and just put that in your document library. You can modify that as you need. So we have lead sheets, all these contracts that you need to uh, run a good remodeling company. So I hope that helped. We will next in line is the trim out board and we'll go over that. It'll be very similar to this. Then we have the wrap up board for punch lists and the post project board. So I will see you in the next screencast. Thank you and so long. This is Randall Souls with Scientific Remodeling System. Thank you.